HV67-97. The HV67 is a magnetic card programmable handheld calculator introduced by Hewlett Packard in 1976 at an MSRP of $450. A desktop version with built-in thermal printer was sold as the HV97 at a price of $750. Marketed as improved successors to the HV65, the HV67-97 were based on the technology of the 20 series of calculators HV25, HV19C, etc. Introduced a year earlier, the two models are functionally equivalent and programs on magnetic cards can be interchanged between them. Features The 67-97 provide a complete set of scientific, statistical and engineering operations, including trigonometric, logarithmic and exponential functions, coordinate conversions, average-slash-standard deviation, etc. The HB67-97 series featured a program memory of 224 8-bit words. The two extra bits per word compared to the HB65-6 allowed the designers to store any program instruction in a single memory cell fully merged key codes even if it required multiple keystrokes to enter. Programs could include 20 labels, subroutines 3 levels deep, four flag registers, eight comparison functions, and extended index and loop control functions. At 15 digits, the display was wider than those of the predecessor models, although the decimal point was displayed on its own digit position. The HV67 keys carry up to four functions each, accessed through F, G, and H prefix keys gold, blue, and black labels, respectively. The Model 97 had more and larger keys, therefore only two functions were assigned to each key. When interchanging magnetic cards between the HV67 and the HV97, the calculator's software took care of converting the key codes and emulated the 97's print functions through the 67's display. The HV67 is powered by a pack of three AA-sized nickel-cadmium rechargeable batteries. Owing to the power requirements of the built-in thermal printer, the HV97 employs a larger battery pack and more powerful charger. Memory and Programming Of the 26 register data memory, the first 10 primary registers could be accessed directly, 10 more as an alternate register set and the remaining six through the user-defined keys at E and as an index register. Using the latter, a program could access all 26 registers as a single indexed array. Data memory is not permanent as in later models, i.e. register contents and program are lost when powering off. The alternate register set was also used by statistical functions. The built-in magnetic card reader slash writer could be used to save programs and data, with the ability to combine data from multiple cards. The same magnetic card format was later used for the HV41, C which offered compatibility to the 67-97 through software in the card reader. HV offered a library of programs supplied on packs of pre-recorded magnetic cards for many applications including surveying medicine, as well as civil and electrical engineering. Cards could be write protected by cutting off a designated corner. In addition to software and support from HV, an active user community supported the HV67-97 as well as the other HV programmables of the era. The group was called PPC and produced the PPC Journal. One of the notable contributions of the group was the development of a black box that allowed pseudo-alphanumeric displays. HV 97S In 1977, HV introduced an extended version of the desktop model as the HV 97S which featured an extra parallel I slash O port 40 lines for 10 4-bit BCE digits plus 5 control lines for collecting data from external hardware 
at a price of $13.75.